When you're working to get fit, there are always setbacks. Our next guest says not to look at those setbacks as negative, but instead use them for positive growth. Welcome Brent Williams from Iron Oak Fitness. He's here today. How are you doing, sir? I'm awesome, man. How are you guys today? Great. It's good to see you. Good. Okay, so you have some personal experience with setbacks. Totally. You recently broke your arm. I did. What happened to you? Well, I, w I went to see Taylor Swift. I'm a big fan. Yes, I love her. Yeah, me too. I literally, I literally fell for her. <laughs> right up the stairs and I ate it and uh, yeah my my this my ring finger is a little a little messed up and I can't use my hand and and that's okay that's okay it wasn't real fun for a couple of days but well you know. you're a personal trainer so this is kind of a problem for you I it think. is but you've really tried to take this experience and and turn it into something positive. There's really nothing else we can do, right? I mean, that's right. what life does. I mean, it enhances things, and, and how we choose to uh, see them and, and move from there is, is really on us. Um, I'm left-handed, so that's that's been a little bit for writing and brushing my teeth and buttoning things and tying my shoes. But luckily, I have some friends who like to tie shoes for me, <laughs> which is awesome. That's friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the thing. Uh, I can't do this any longer. So so I can focus on what I can't do, right? Or I can focus on what I can do. Mm -hmm. And what I can do is slow down a little bit, first of all. In fact, if I probably had, had, had a little slower mindset in the beginning, I wouldn't have fallen up the stairs in the first place. Um, but yeah, I can work my legs. Mm -hmm. I can work my core. I can focus my meditation practice. Mm -hmm. I can eat a little cleaner. You know? well, and the reason, you know, what's interesting about this, I know he's a personal trainer and we're not working out, but in part because this is really what you believe, that it's not just about going through the movements and the mm -hmm. exercise. No, not at all. It's all tied together. Exactly. That's why so many of us fail when we start these diets or, you know, we have a hard time necessarily. It's totally right. Because we, routine. yeah, because we focus on just the aesthetics and, mm -hmm. and they're really not that, I mean, it's, it's great to be healthy. It's great to have a functioning body. In fact, all of our experiences that we have here come through our body in some way. So it's good to have that all in alignment, but, but really that's an after effect of the inside. Right. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's important to look at all angles. Well, here it is. And this is a big thing. It could have been worse. It totally it could have could been. Have been. Really worse. And you're talking about practicing gratitude. Now you could really get to experience that. Yeah, I mean, I, this hand works. Both my feet work. You know, I'm, I'm in here talking about this with you guys right now and hopefully inspiring people to to uh, to focus on the positives in their life. I mean, I could leave here and have a flat tire, but, you know, that's okay. I have a car that has a flat tire and I have means to fix it. And, and yeah. uh, anything can be an obstacle, right? Mm -hmm. You say that um, you really believe that happiness is a choice. It totally is. And it's a practice. How can we make that a choice when you're faced with a setback, whether it is some kind of a physical setback or, you know, whatever life might throw at you? Sure. Well, going into a situation like this, first of all, I can, I can, uh, negative emotions are going to come up. Sometimes when I talk, people think I'm all rainbows and unicorns because I smile a lot and I, I bobble my head, but I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, but negative emotions come up. Of course, I was a little depressed. Of course, there's a Ben and Jerry's down the street and I uh, had some chunky monkey ice cream quite a few times, but, but then you have to pull it together and you got to move on, right? right? That's what you have to do. So, so what I can do going into the situation is what can this situation teach me? Right? Mm -hmm. And then what can I bring to this situation that's going to better the situation for my clients? Right? I'm becoming a better trainer because I'm able to, to sympathize and empathize with injury that they've had. So it slows me down a little bit. Maybe there are things I can do that they can't. Now I can come from a slower perspective. Um, I'm also learning to articulate myself a little better. I can't demonstrate some things. Mm -hmm. So it's helping me in that way. Right? That's good. And, and here's another thing that it, it, it really does too. It's, it's, you're still allowed to go ahead and work out. I mean, you just have to just modify things, and maybe the modifications may be an improvement for you. That's exactly right, and it, and it helps me become a better trainer because then the next time this happens for someone else, I can show them ways to work around it. Okay. And and you know, there are setbacks in all aspects, not just our, phys our you know our physical, our, you know, financially, whatever. But you, you focus on the other ways to move forward in your life, and that's what you do. I mean, that's we're going to be doing this forever. So you know, you also like to focus um, and get people to focus on opportunities that lie ahead. What do you mean by that? Well, um, the opportunities that lie ahead. So this has given me an opportunity, like I said, to realize, um, you know, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, right? So um, I wake up in the morning. Generally, I, I'm very healthy, but I've slowly slipped into a routine that I was not aware of, of having a cup of coffee and a little protein bar that comes in a package that's uh, full of uh, things that aren't necessarily food, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm moving so quickly. So, so this was a, a great way of my life to slow me down and recognize there are other ways that I can improve myself. It's not just about being in the gym and it's not just about moving as quickly as I possibly can through my life it, it's helping me to be a little more conscious which is a, which is a blessing do you have to remind yourself in the morning that okay this is a new day and I'm going to attack this day differently now that whatever the adversity is something that totally it's real easy to remember that when I'm in the shower like this <laughs> that's, that's the easiest way but yeah um so 
Yeah, that I, I I do have to do that. It, it helps me stay um, stay um, in the moment a little more because I have to instead of projecting myself into the future that I've always done. I have to think about how things are going to be a little different, which means I'm more conscious of the steps I take, which means I can better myself in lots of aspects, right? So it, so it is an opportunity. Uh, Brent, thank you so much. You can find Brent at ironoakfitness.com, ironoakfitness.com. He can still train you even with his injuries, you know, so uh, you can find him there. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Always a pleasure. Yeah.